Hello and welcome to round four of the Bristol Store Championships with me Rebecca Gillard and joined as always by Richard Walker. I am Richard Walker. You are Richard Walker, yes. This is correct. Yes, well done. Who's playing Rebecca? We have Matt Such on the left playing a Tyrell Wolf deck with Ben Hunt on the right playing Martel Kraken. Oh, fascinating. Mm, yeah. And this is um, one of the last, I don't know if it's the last, or one of the last tournaments that Matt Such actually um, participates in in the UK. Why? He's, he's buggering off, leaving us. No! I know, he's no. got off to New Zealand, I believe, which is very, very cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm ever so slightly jealous of this. But he's still a scumbag for leaving. He is, but he can basically like dress up as Legolas and go like riding around the hills in New Zealand on a horse <clears> and just shoot arrows at people and pretend he's in Lord of the Rings. I can imagine Matt Such on a horse. Shooting arrows at things. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's a very Matt Such thing to do, actually. <laughs> Matt Such has the best laugh ever. Which which podcast was it that he was on? Uh, Deck List and Chill. Deck List and Chill, that's the one. Yeah, it's like, I, I didn't really, like, know Matt very much until you basically showed me the podcast and you yeah. were like, listen to this guy's laugh. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Matt Such laugh is a laugh that makes me laugh too. Yes. And then suddenly everybody's laughing. Yeah. And it, you know, and laughter is infectious. It's good. It makes it people is. laugh. <laughs> it's actually very, very good for you laughing. It's actually kind of exercise as well, I read. Really? Yeah. Because, that... like, you're, like, using your muscles and, like, your body. Ha, 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 ha. So your body sort of shakes and stuff. Do you remember when I was playing Daisy in a friendly game last night and we were actually <laughs> just rolling on the floor laughing at one of our I, little comments? I do remember you and Daisy laying on the living room floor. Literally rolling on the floor with laughter, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, we have a game on. We have Ty, Ty Werewolf. Uh, Ty, Tyrell, Tyrell, Were, Try again. Tyrell, Tyrell Banner of the Wolf against okay. Martel Banner of the Kraken. Yes, we've set this bit. Yeah, but what have we set up? We have set up on the left a garden caretaker, Butter Bumps. Um, oh, sp- what the hell is that? Is that Spoon Man? Is that Garth the Gross? Oh, possibly. He's got quite a bit of text on him. Yeah, um, that could and be then tough. also, oh crap. Right, let me get this right. Arbor Vineyard. Wrong one. For location. That's not Arbor Vineyard. Oh, just now. Um, Red Wine Straits. Could be. One of those. One of those. God knows which. Um, and on the right hand side, we've got Green Blood Trader, Wilding Scout, Caliot. And it's either Flea Bottom nope. or it's the neutral location, Street of Silk Sisters? Shadow Black Lane. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the intrigue <coughs> one. <laughs> <coughs> no, we've got Varity Riddle into Noble Cause. So it won't do anything, will it? No. Oh, well. At least he didn't hit a trading. <laughs> like, I may or may not have done in the last game. Definitely did. Yeah. Matt's got a lot of resources. Mmm. you got Renly out. Oh. Oh, good old Tricon Renly that can't be saved when the opponent has a king. I don't know how many kings Ben's going to have in a Martel deck. I would wager none. <laughs> this would be my wager. So bodyguard <coughs> seems like a safe idea. Seems okay, don't it? Hmm. Could have put it on Garth the Gross. If that is Garth the Gross, it definitely is Garth the Gross. Look, he's counting a spoon if you're looking closely. And because Matt controlled the Lord, Garth gets a military icon. And some strength too, I think. I was going to say, he's already got a military icon, but I'm assuming that's because Ben put one on him. <laughs> oh yeah, that is exactly right. <laughs> Ben, like, pretty much exclusively plays Martel. So I think he's got, like, every version of the icons, strippers, and adders that you could possibly want. Indeed. So, yeah, it would probably Ben's. Oh, and a Theon. Baby Theon. We were just discussing in the last game how Baby Theon's the best Theon. And an Iron Mine. Mmm. Seem good. So why do you think Ben's gone for the Kraken banner? Location control, maybe on a pole, and saves. Yeah, Ben does tend to play around a little bit with the, um, the Martel builds. So I know he um, was playing Martel Dragon for a little bit. And um, actually inspired me to play Martel Dragon for a bit as well. 
It's really fun, actually. Like using um, Plaza Pride and the Seven Sons um, to, you know, well, repeat that, but also getting in all your Dornish spies and <coughs> some messengers and stuff like that. It was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ben's been on a few of our videos and we talk a lot about how he loved Martel. Mm. And if you watch our videos, you will you will have seen Ben in quite a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think actually we might have already had him in one of the videos. With Matt Such. Have we ever had Matt Such on one of our videos? Oh, I don't know. Possibly. Matt Such plays the jankiest jank. <laughs> he's he's basically George Janker's wannabe. <laughs> I was going to say, no one can quite compare to George Janker's, right? Was, have you ever seen him and George in the same room? Maybe they're like the same person. Weren't they both at this tournament, actually? Shh. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. Maybe they're the same person. Maybe Janka is Matt Such. Or maybe they're like twins or something. And George is just fed up of leading, of leading the double life, so he's, in inverted commas, going to New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. shit, that's an intrigue claim. It's all right. Matt Such had icons anyway. <laughs> had. <laughs> he's lost a power icon, though. <laughs> What's going on? I'm eating a Jaffa cake and you're not commentating like you're supposed to. I don't know what's going on. This is the rule. While one's eating, the other person commentates. <laughs> Which is why I commentate so much, right? Okay. But um Rebecca, what's going on? <laughs> Who <Ooh, dick. laughs> Um Intrigue Challenge, which is an opposed claim of a great hall. Power challenge from the Desert Scavenger, which will be unopposed as a garden caretaker no longer has a power icon. This will be an unopposed, unopposed plus claim. Shut up. And a military challenge coming from Theon, which is going to be, again, unopposed plus claim of the standing garden caretaker. Interesting choice. Um, if... Oh, then again. Say, you there is no away. kneeling garden caretaker. I thought, I thought there was another one. Never mind. Because if that was standing, then Matt would have won Dom. But as it is, they're going to tie for Dom. Wow. Ben has raced into a... 4-1 lead. And he has quite a wide board of essentially chuds. Mm. First no would wreck him. Mm. Um, but then first no would only leave Matt with one character anyway. So. Oh, is Garth only three? Yeah, he is. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. What strength is he? Two. He's three gold, two strength, and has a power icon. If you control a lord, I think he gets plus two strength and a military icon. And if you also control a lady... He gained uh, an Intrigue icon and Renown. So he becomes a Tricon with Renown when you have Lords and Ladies on the board. That seems really quite strong. It's okay. Mm. But basically, he just dies a Tinder Marge can find when <laughs> <Renly> or Vandal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've seen happen a lot. Yeah. And he's just good while he's waiting to die. Feels like you could build quite a strong deck around him, though. Around him? Maybe. Yeah, that good. Doesn't he turn into, like, a Tricon for strength with Renown? Why wouldn't you build a deck around Renly, who's a Tricon with six strength, Renown, <laughs> insight, and an ability? Shh! And stop destroying my hopes and dreams, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you must be the only person in the world who wanted to build a deck around Garth the Gross. But it would just be so good, it would be gross. That's terrible. <laughs> Please repent. Apologise to our viewers. They don't deserve to hear this bullshit. I'm sorry, viewers. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, what's going on? We have Brian of Tarth. Stop calling her Brian. It's Brienne. Not Brian. Same thing. It's not the same thing. It's just Brienne in a different accent. <sighs> yeah, look, Garth is a tricon now with renown. Your dreams are fulfilled. Woo! Go, Garth. Go, Garth. He's a spoon counter. How can you love a man that counts spoons? My best friend's dad used to collect spoons. He had like a little cabinet that's got spoons in it. That's fascinating. No, Might get still out. Have one. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's slightly harsh. <laughs> oh, and we also have Jane, Jane. Westerling. Oh, you weren't going to get it right. I was. I was going to say Westerling. You're worse than 
Ben Davy. No, I'm and not. Ben Davy is terrible with names. No, I think Ben Davy's worse at names than I am, which <clears> is saying something because I'm not fantastic. Yeah, but, yeah, but Argo. <laughs> he says Argo, and that's a film with Iranian diplomats. Ben, that's a terrible mispronunciation. Argo. Yeah. Like I gotta say, it a is while a... I go, I knew how to say his name. Oh, please leave. I'll commentate this on my own if you like. <laughs> sure, I'll just carry on drinking wine in the corner. It'd be yeah, fine. Yeah, you drink wine in the corner. <laughs> oh, we didn't mention the plots. So Matt played Time of Plenty, and Ben played Retaliation. This means that Ben is going to be going second, and is going to get two claim on all of his challenges if he can push them through. There you go. Cool. If Matt keep Brienne standing, that two challenges with a five strength defender. Mmm. Seems strong. And he has Jane Westerling. That only stand Stark Lord or any Lord. Um I'm starting to think it could be Lords. I'm not sure. Let me quickly Google that shit. Get your Google foot on. Um. Hmm, there seem to be some procrastinating happening on the right hand side. Ben has gold, but doesn't know how to spend it. You've got plenty of cards with the four reserves, so you might want to get one or two out. It's a Stark King or Lord character, which isn't quite as exciting. But she's still a still a lady to, you know, get the gross dream to come true. But I guess that's true. It is true. It is certainly true. Yeah. There is truth to your words. Plenty of truth. I know what you're talking. Yeah. Ben knelt a, a thing <laughs> and put Edric Dane on the board. Okay. Which is nice. You've got another chart with stealth, which is quite handy on your retaliation turn. And a choosable icon, even more handy. Mm. Especially when you've got a non kneeling defender like Brian, Brienne. <laughs> also, remember, he's got Calliot, which can remove a pesky icon if needed. A pesky. And a wilding scout, so that can be sacrificed to give someone stealth. Double stealth. Plus Theon, who, with the strength of the characters on the board, is going to get pretty much any Wasn't Matt the first player? He was, which he means was. He, he basically passed challenges. Passed challenges. Because he said he wanted to weather the storm. And he just let Butterbump and Jane Westerling die. So I guess it didn't really matter what Jane Westerling did, because she was just going to die anyway. Might as well have done an intrigue with her. Yeah, that's true. She's going to die anyway. You've got nothing to lose by doing a little intrigue with Westerling. Yeah, that is very, very true. It but is true. Sometimes, you know, retrospect is easier than in the moment, right? Yeah, maybe. And now Matt such as A-Team is going to do some work. When they've been stealthed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love Jaffa Cakes. Mm. In Tesco's, just FYI, guys, in Tesco's, they're selling a hundred pack box of Jaffa Cakes. Just like a box of a hundred Jaffa Cakes. It's amazing. I'm very excited by this. Yeah, you're going to get them, right? Yeah, sure. I'll get some on Monday when we go to okay. shopping. <gasps> There's one Jaffa Cake. <laughs> <clears throat> this could cause a fight. Just a minute, guys, but while we decide who gets the last Jaffa cake. It's my Jaffa cake. <laughs> Some more. <laughs> Confiscated. What? You've had too many. Yeah, that's true. You had five to my six, so that's definitely mine. Hey, wait, what? <laughs> so, power challenge coming in with Edric Dane. Oh, he's going for it, okay. I don't know who's stealthing. Brienne. I mean, he's going to nail somebody, which means he got an intrigue that he wants to get through. It makes sense to the stealth brand, right? Yeah. I mean, I think I might have gone intrigue for... Oh, so... Intrigue with Kaliot. Well, the power went through unopposed anyway, so... Is he going to use a scout? Is it worth it? Mm. 
Entry stealth friendly, just defends with gross. Does he lose? Uh, three strength, Garth the Gross has three strength. Oh, so he, he's one strength. He's three cost on one strength. I lied when oh, I said he was two strength. Whoa! I lied. Look at that claim. What was it? Ned and... Frozen solid. Dang. Ooh. <laughs> no, <laughs> note that he didn't trigger his shadow black lane. No, he didn't. I, th I recall Ben playing a game before against somebody and not triggering his shadow black lane maybe regularly. Or maybe he got a four reserve plot up. He's got uh, Vengeance for Elia in his hand. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he has to discard anyway, so I guess he... Um, Venomous Blade. Didn't want to bring any more cards into hand just in case. Well, that Venomous Blade would have done work against Garth the Gross if he'd kept it. And Ario? Oh, yeah, oh, but then Flea Bottom. Bottom yeah. yeah. Yeah, he could have killed Gross Garth. Maybe he's got another one in hand. Maybe he does have another one in hand. Who am I to question the tactile decision of... Tactile, wait. What? Anyway, who am I to... <laughs> oh, and I just saw, like, Matt was being clever when he passed his challenges. Was he? Yes, because, think about it, I'm thinking... Matt didn't have any power on his faction card. Oh, so if he'd, done, if he'd done any challenges... Then Ben would let it go unopposed and then be able to come back and steal the power. Oh, I like it. There you go. Matt was being clever. You can tell he played one million Iron Throne games this week. <laughs> this week? Yeah. <laughs> He's on Iron Throne all the time. I was watching Ben Davies' live Twitch stream, Night of the Blackwater, the Fear Cuts Deeper Than Sword Iron Throne tournament, and someone playing somebody, and then I see Matt Such leaves the game. Like Cryptomnesia is his name. Oh. He left the game. He was lurking. Don't give away his secret. He like, was lurking. Name. Well, it's not a secret. He's not a bad guy. Well, like if he was lurking, that means he was probably like trying to scout out the opposition or something. Well, he did do quite well. I think he finished second in his pod. Did he? Yeah. So it turns out Matt Such is an acceptable player. Just acceptable. Well, I don't think I've lost to him. <laughs> Although he did have a really, him. really good game at Northampton last time he played. Was that the Grand Championship? Um, door Champs. Okay. Yeah, we had a good game. He had a Time of Night thing going on with his Lanny shit. And I had, I don't know what I was playing, but I, he was the only person I beat, so, <laughs> so I remember it fondly. So you weren't playing anything very good then? Yeah, it was a terrible deck. You built it for me. What? No, I did not. Stop trying to cover up your poor decision making skills. <laughs> Harsh. But you probably true. didn't call me a bastard too. Well, you are a little bastard. I don't need to keep reminding you. <laughs> mm, mean. So mean. Nah, you love it really. Dornish Fiefdom's coming out there. And kneeling for two, because Ben is second here. And spending another gold on nine mines. I mean, we got the Iron Mines, right? But who's really worth saving on the board, aside from <laughs> Theon? Possibly Caliot? Nah, shit. Get rid of him. Get someone more impactful out. I don't think he's got impactful cards in his hand. You know what? If Matt's running first snow, Ben's going to be very sad. Although if Matt was running first snow, he'd probably already played it. Maybe. Yeah, mm. I think he would have. So we've got our Intrigue Challenge coming in from many here. <coughs> um... Oh, shit, Marjorie's on the board. When that happen? <laughs> Earlier. Were we too busy fighting over Jaffa Cakes or something? <laughs> no, it just before that when you were saying about my shit deck. Um, and I was saying, yeah, I beat Matt such at Northampton. Um, and I didn't beat anyone else. Um, you only win, I see. Yeah. Um, I have a question, Richard. Oh, God. Can you see what the attachment is on Marjorie? Is that Bodyguard, maybe? Um, I don't know. I'm not supposed to know. I wasn't watching. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Kalia kneeling there to defend the intrigue. Um, seems good. Means that you can remove an icon of someone. So, taking the power icon off of Brienne there. I think a non-kneeling one icon person isn't quite so scary as a non-kneeling two icon person. Oh, and vengeance! Haha, <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> So Matt's only got three cards in hand as it is. 
Then let's get rid of another. What's that? Three maids in a pool? Is that you say it? Six maids in oh, a pool. Oh, six. <laughs> <laughs> you halved the number of maids in my pool. <laughs> Here you go, darling. You can have the full six. <laughs> what did that do again? I always forget what that, plot do, um, that event does. Draw a card equal to the amount of ladies that you have on the board. Ah. So I guess we'd get two if we did use it. So Ben's board hadn't developed at all, really, from the first round. No. He's got Edric. He's got another Iron Mind, which he doesn't really need, because there's only Theon that you'd really want to save. Um, he played plots, but hadn't developed the board. Whereas Matt had played plots and put out big, impactful characters. Mm. I feel like Ben really needs some big characters here. I mean, first, no. If Matt played it, would absolutely wreck him. He did have the Viper, but he got taken for intrigue claim. Oh, yeah, that's true. So maybe he's just really sad. He's got his head in his hands at the moment. <laughs> I think that's his thinking pose, isn't it? Oh, is it? He could be a Montgomery Burn pose. <laughs> 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 Possibly. Um, so military coming in with Brienne there. And, yeah, it's going to be unopposed. And claim. See, not only has Matt got enough strength to win challenges now, he's got renowns everywhere. Mm. Well, look, I mean, it was pretty balanced not long ago, and he's already starting to pull ahead a bit there. Get powers. Mm. Although, I mean, Ben's going to get two unopposed challenges through here, because he can stealth past um, Marjorie, and he can get unopposed with Theon. So I would guess that he'd do a power with Theon, and then an intrigue with um, Edric. You wouldn't really want to do a military, would you? Hmm. Because you'd risk getting a big, right? Hmm. So, going first, the intrigue, stealthing Marjorie here. Are you going to trigger Shadow Black? Is it not a win by five? No, it's just when you win an intrigue challenge. Oh. <laughs> he took his own pose and then remembered. He did a Rebecca. He did a Rebecca. Got your trigger window in a little bit wonky order. No, it's fine. I'll play Nightmare, then trigger my agenda to which is the reaction it's to the face. Fine, starting. dearest, darling. It's not like it was a top tier tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ben there went and fetched a um, vengeance. Ben is getting some really nice claim with these intrigue challenges. He's just taken Randall. Um, and then power with Theon. That's going to be unopposed and claim. So Matt pulled ahead a little bit, but Ben's sort of, well, basically come back and taking it back off him. I mean... Theon, ben... I think, is an amazing card. He can... When boards are set up, generally, after a reset, they just become about big characters. Mm. And Theon, in the late game, can just win you power challenges unopposed. Incredibly, like he just on the rise of the Kraken turn, he can just net you four power. Yeah, he's just really, really good. And it's like then Ben did a power challenge, got unopposed, and claimed just, just like that. Easy, yeah, he didn't have to worry about it, did he? But his board's not great, he could have really done with the Red Viper here, I think. Even so, he's got a lot of icons on the other side of the board. Yeah, but I think the Viper would have given him more options, like win conditions. Mm. Um, You're true. Whereas, you know, at the moment, he's facing four renowned characters. You don't really want to lose a challenge to them. No. So this plot could be important here. Um, Let me say, although Ben's slightly in the lead, I feel like his grip on the game is... um, Diminished. Diminished. By the uh, characters on that side here. So Matt was very, very quick to choose his plot. Ben obviously taking a bit more time to think about it. Yeah. So Ben going for trade routes. Um, might be that he's got a big character in hand now to put out, which would be good for him. Um, and Matt's gone for pulling the strings. So he gets to choose a scheme or edict in the opponent's... Use plot pile, is that right? For pulling the strings? You're looking at me blankly. Yeah, you can't pick a scheme. Oh, you can't pick a scheme. I think. I can't remember really. So basically, pulling the strings, you can choose 
quite frankly, plot. it's <laughs> quite frankly, it's a Tyrell plot, and I have no intention of using it. That's fine. Google is my friend. Possibly. Here we go. Blue strings. Choose an edict, kingdom, or scheme plot. Ha! Cool. I'm over it. <laughs> well, I won, so I'm happy. You won? Yeah, I was right and you were wrong. It doesn't happen that often. <laughs> well, when it comes to card details, anyway. So, pulling the strings, you can choose a kingdom, edict, or scheme plot in the opponent's used plot pile. So, um, Matt there went for the building orders. Yep. Um, did you happen to see what he was getting? Oh, no, looking at my phone. You were looking at your phone. You Sorry. wasn't even Googling the plot. At least I was working looking at my phone. I was just chatting. Oh. Chatting shit, you know. Disgraceful. I'm sorry. I will try harder. So, Ben has gold. He's placing them on the table one by one. And then he tilted them slightly so he could count them. <laughs> Thank you for this. Um, for, the, for these details. Secret right? schemes! Ooh. He had some schemes in their secret. What that says to me is that he's got fuck all to actually play out. Or maybe you just wanted more cards in hand. I mean, he had played, you know, retaliation earlier and ditched some cards. And now he played trade routes and he got loads of gold to spend. So why not find something worth spending it on? Am I, I wrong or am you're I not, right? You're not wrong, but I don't feel like he's finding things he wants to pay for here. Can you tell from your body language? What, from the way he's leaning back and flicking through all of his cards and... Closing them up, tapping them and then opening them up again. Hoping for something different to appear. Yeah, you could be right. Maybe he's just stuck between two options. Maybe. We've all been there. It is true. Unless you don't play the game and have just randomly watched this video for no reason. In which case, hi, Game of Thrones is amazing. You should join in. That would be our waitress in the restaurant tonight. Very possibly. We were we were chatting up a waitress in the restaurant and she seemed very interested in watching the channel for some random reason. So if you are watching, she won't hi, be. waitress lady. Probably not at this point. Like, <laughs> if you don't if you don't play the game and you randomly looked at this channel, like you'd like what? Watch you a wouldn't minute? be watching. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so dull. <laughs> well, I did. I did warn her. To be fair, that it was people playing cards. Um, but I think she was more interested in discussing the theories of Game of Thrones it's than true. anything. But maybe a new gamer that could be fun. Hmm. Again, wearing a fishing net. She is, and Ben didn't marshal any characters. Hmm. How much gold did he save? Lots. I'd say like an Iron Throne, at least. This is not good. It isn't. I feel ben like... Ben's deck may have uh, let him down. Yeah. Or well, it might not be a very good deck, who knows? I'd, I'd be interested to find out what um, characters he was running. You know, like big, bigger characters. Red Viper. Well, yes, we know he's got Red Ariane. Viper somewhere. Nymeria. He's almost definitely running those three because... He does like to run those three. Not a good card, why wouldn't you? Garland Tyrell. Marshalled on the left hand side. Oh, I like which, Garland. Which one's that one again? He's the one where he gets plus one strength for every gold on him. You can bestow him three. He is base strength three. And he has renown. And you can, as an action, spend the gold from him to give uh, another Tyrell character plus two strength to the end of the challenge. Pretty nifty. I like him. He's really, really flexible. But it's not been bestowed on this round. He hasn't, so he's just a renowned bod. Look, Matt says he's like, I'm going to check and do my shoe up. <laughs> on camera, Matt Such is doing up his shoelace. Look at the technique. Look, no problem there at all. So he's, he's obviously learned to do a shoelace. I think what we didn't tell the viewers was this was actually um, a video on like how to tie your shoelaces. I hope you've all learned something. Wow. The Matt demonstration. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. It was a wonderful demonstration. It was a nice demonstration. Nice white laces, too. Yeah. And now we'll get back to the side. Okay. 
video of the throne. The throne, you know. yes. Yeah. Now I've got past the important bit. Of course. Of course. Of course. We had a power. Are we going to get how to unbutton from... a shirt from Matt as well? Or... I mean that that could be fun. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matthew. <laughs> Um, so we had a power come through from Theon, which was, of course, an opposed plus a claim. So Ben now 10 to 6 um, against Matt. He's got quite a nice lead. And he's just spent a gold to give um, Edric an intrigue icon. And stealthing someone. I mean, this this challenge is probably quite pointless because if Matt wants to win it, he just wins it. Yeah. Do you think maybe? And then he hits him back with more challenges. I mean, Ben hasn't got a power icon to defend any power challenges. Do you think maybe Ben should have left them standing to stop an opposed and whatnot? Yeah, I think I'm. Maybe I don't know. I mean, he's Matt's got lots of renown there. Mm. He's got five renown characters. So it looks like Matt's going to defend with Littlefinger and Marjorie. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe in case there was an area or something. Or the prince's plan. Yeah. Anything can just change things. Because Brienne, of course, can't defend. Yeah. Matt's being cautious. I understand that. Does he win? Does he take the renown? I think Ben's just considering his actions here. Okay. He's got his Montgomery burn going on. <laughs> ah. He's removed an icon from Brian. Oh, okay. All men are fools. Oh, wow, okay. It's a nice little bump for him. So Matt playing all men are fools. Power and renown. To get the... Power on the ladies there, and then also renown on Marjorie. So that's really nicely bumped him up. Only six away now, um, with all three challenges possible, and also four renowned characters. Could be coming in for the win. Yeah, could be coming in for the win. Three power from an unopposed power challenge puts him on 12. And renowned on Garth, Renly, and Brian on, a, on another challenge. Okay, let's see what he does. So, coming in for. Which one are we going for there, Matt? <laughs> Game over. Military, then, I guess? No? No, changing his mind. Ben died fingering his card and <laughs> suggesting, you know, haha, Elliot might have some vengeance. He does have vengeance, exactly. we saw him take it. I'm sure Matt just remembered that. Okay, so military for like five, six, seven, eight ish um, with Brienne and Garlem. So, uh, it's unopposed. I don't know if Matt took the unopposed there. Should have done, because that would be a route to victory. Mm. What happened? Um. So, it was... Vengeance. It, yeah, I think Matt's forgotten to take an unopposed, but if I remember he takes it. Yeah, he's taken it now. Um, and oh. <laughs> Ben played Vengeance, which meant that Matt just went and got Ned. <laughs> That's backfired. A Did lot. A little bit. I think <clears throat> if I was Ben, I'd have saved that and maybe Vengeance the power. Because um, now Ned and Renly are coming in with a power challenge. So, I mean, that's just going to be shitloads of power, isn't it? Oh, or not. What's he got? Ario. Ario taking out Ned. Seems like a very wise choice. Ba -bum. However, it's still going to be unopposed claim and renown. 
<laughs> GG. Today. Well done, Matthew. All right. Enjoy New Zealand. <laughs> Enjoy New Zealand, Matt. He's only gone to New Zealand so he can play the farm animal to thrones and win. Is that what it is? Yeah, he's just going to go into the wild. Are no you saying that Ben is worse than a farm animal here? What? Well, well no, because he's going to lose just like the animal. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching the game. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. If you'd like to support us, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash white walkers. Um, otherwise, we'll see you for, I believe, round five. Round five. Cool. Sounds good. All right. See you then, guys. Bye. Bye.